Hello, you're watching News Mongolia on MNB World, and I'm your host, Jarrah Ma Tushin Jarrah. Our top stories for today. The successful conclusion of President Frank Walter Steinmeier's state visit to Mongolia. National Emergency Management Agency warns of temperature drops and heavy snow starting on February 13. 66,670 vehicles left Ulaanbaatar during the Lunar New Year holiday. For the news, stay with us. The state visit to Mongolia of the President of the Federal Republic of Germany, Frank Walter Steinmeier, concluded on February 8 marking a significant milestone for diplomatic ties between the two nations. President Steinmeier's visit, at the invitation of President of Mongolia, Hulsu Huchna, was marked by high-level meetings and cultural exchanges that strengthened the bonds between Germany and Mongolia. A highlight of the state visit was the cultural immersion of the distinguished guests. On February 7, the honored guests visited the home of Karpatrach, a renowned horse trainer in Zomotsom province. This unique experience gave them insight into Mongolia's nomadic customs and traditions during the Lunar New Year holiday. In a gesture of goodwill and friendship, President Horace Hochna presented a camel to President Steinmeier and a camel calf to First Lady Elke Bindenbender. This exchange symbolizes the enduring bond between the two nations and echoes a similar gesture from President Steinmeier's visit in 2014 when he was presented with a foal. That horse currently resides in Botlansom Dornot province. As the President's visit fell during the Lunar New Year holiday, President Steinmeier extended his heartfelt greetings to the Mongolian people. Dear people of Mongolia, thank you for the warm welcome extended to my spouse and me. As we witness the end of the long winter and welcome the arrival of spring, may the spirit of renewal and rejuvenation bring joy and prosperity to your homes. In the year of Wood Dragon, I extend my heartfelt wishes for good health, happiness and success to all Mongolians. May this year be filled with prosperity and development for your country. The state visit of President Frank Walter Steinmeier to Mongolia not only strengthened diplomatic ties but also celebrated the cultural richness and shared values of the two nations. As the leaders bid farewell, the promise of enhanced collaboration and friendship between Germany and Mongolia echoes through the diplomatic corridors, laying the foundation for a prosperous future. As Lunar New Year celebrations continue, families across the country have embarked on journeys to reunite with extended family members in the provinces. However, the National Emergency Management Agency has issued a warning about adverse weather conditions expected in the central and eastern provinces. A significant snow and blizzard warning has been issued for the central and eastern regions of the country starting on February 13. The warning comes as families continue their travels for Lunar New Year gatherings, raising concerns about potential safety risks and disruptions in transportation. In addition to the heavy snow and blizzard warnings, NEMA, National Emergency Management Agency, has highlighted a significant drop in temperatures forecasted for the western provinces on the 13th. Lower temperatures are expected to affect most areas in the coming days. The agency strongly advises the public to regularly check weather news and information. Increased travel during winter weather conditions has prompted authorities to take precautionary measures. Travelers are urged to stay updated on the latest weather reports, road conditions and advisories for a safe and smooth journey. As the country continues to celebrate the Lunar New Year, National Emergency Management Agency emphasized the importance of staying vigilant and prepared for changing weather conditions. Now let's take a look at Mongolian current affairs. During the Lunar New Year holiday, there was a surge in the number of vehicles traveling from Ulaanbaatar to the provinces, with 66,670 cars heading to rural destinations through six digital toll booths at the city's borders. 
Each digital toll booth clears one vehicle every two seconds. Looking ahead to after the Lunar New Year holiday ends on February 13, no queues are expected at toll booths, despite the volume of cars heading back to the capital. The Road and Transport Development Center noted that vehicle owners can log into eZam.mn to settle tolls. The digital toll system is contributing to a hassle-free travel experience for people ushering in the Lunar New Year. Thank you for staying with us. Now let's take a look at currency exchange rates provided by Mongol Bank. Next, our program will turn our attention to foreign news partnered with international news agencies. The niece of rescued hostage Fernanda Simon Marmon said on Monday that the whole family was happy about the return of her uncle along with her mother's partner. She added that she was sorry for the losses of the soldiers. Israeli forces rescued two hostages early Monday, storming a heavily guarded apartment in the southern Gaza Strip and extracting the captives under fire in a dramatic raid that was a small but symbolically significant success for Israel. I am Geffen Sigalilan. I'm the niece of Fernando Marman, who have been rescued with uh, Louis Har, my mother's partner, this night. Uh, first of all, I want to thank all the people who made all their effort to save them, save their lives, okay? And uh, I want to um, participate and be uh, very sorry about the losses of the soldiers uh, of today, uh, at this night. And I want to say, and it's very, very important, after all the saying thank you, to say that they are okay. Now they are uh, walking, they are a bit thin, thinner than they went and been uh, in the um, uh, hostages and they are a little bit uh, um, white, they are not uh, as we are um, um, in the color of the face, um, and, but they are talking, they are okay and they are uh, a bit uh, uh, happy f and they are happy for being rescued and uh, I want to say that we all the families won't stop till all the 134 hostages will be free. We will fight for the, their freedom. We will do everything we can so this of, of this uh, war crime will end. I've heard uh, of the news this morning and I was uh, rushing to the, this uh, hospital and to be together with my family and it was uh, very emotional to see them, to hug them, to feel them. Uh, it feels almost unreal. Uh, my um, uncle was asking about my daughter that uh, was having her birthday, second birthday, on the October 6th, and he gave her a little bicycle. Now she's a little taller. She's going with uh, the bicycle he gave. And uh, he gave her, and we are very, very happy and it's a bit complicated. We are sorry about the losses of the families uh, that lost their sons this night. And I want to say that we have friends that steal their hostages and we will continue to do everything for the freedom of them. We want, we really, really want it to be as soon as possible. Uh, we want all the families to be happy with their uh, families. Again, thank you. The operation killed at least 50 Palestinians, including women and children, according to Palestinian health officials in the beleaguered territory. The raid was celebrated in Israel, which has been seeking the release of more than 100 captives held by Hamas and other militant groups. The army identified the rescued hostages as a Fernando Simon Marman, 60-year-old person, and Luis Har, 70-year-old person, abducted by Hamas militants from kibbutz near Ishak in October 7th cross-border attack that triggered the war. 
Har and Marman were kidnapped from a home along with three other relatives who were freed in the late November deal. No other family members of theirs remain in Gaza, Israeli media reported. Nearly half of the world's migratory species are in decline, according to a new United Nations report released Monday. Many songbirds, sea turtles, whales, sharks and other migratory animals move to different environments with changing seasons and are imperiled by habitat loss, illegal hunting and fishing pollution and climate change. About 44% of migratory species worldwide are declining in population, the report found. More than a fifth of the nearly 1,200 species monitored by the United Nations are threatened with extinction. The report shows that the trends are going in the wrong direction. Uh, as Amy highlighted, nearly half or 44% of CMS listed species have populations that are declining. This contrasts with only 12% that have increasing populations, uh, and there are additional about a third that are stable and 13% that are unknown or not assessed. In addition, global extinction risk is rising for both CMS listed species and migratory species as a whole. This means that species such as the endangered gray-headed albatross pictured here are edging closer to extinction. In addition, over the last 30 years, 70 CMS listed species have become more threatened, so species such as the Egyptian vulture and the steppe eagle. The report relied on existing data, including information from the International Union for Conservation of Nature's Red List, which tracks whether a species is endangered. Participants of the United Nations meeting plan to evaluate proposals for conservation measures and also whether to formally list several new species of concern. We cannot protect migratory species without multilateralism, without unity, and without transboundary cooperation. So I'm calling on all countries and all parties, all communities, um, including um, at, uh, that, uh, to work together, including at the upcoming United Nations Environment Assembly, so that we can protect migratory species, so that they survive and thrive. So, and because when we do, we, humanity, will also survive and thrive. In 2022, governments pledged to protect 30% of the planet's land and water resources for conservation at the United Nations Biodiversity Conference in Montreal, Canada. Now, let's take a look at weather forecast for world major cities. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for staying with us. We will see you tomorrow with more news and updates. Goodbye.